Thank you. Thank you so much. It's really my pleasure, honestly, everybody, and well done to all of you. I've just been learning about the charity and obviously about the work that you're all doing. So I'm really super happy to be involved in this and to get you guys dancing. I am an absolute lover of dance. I've been doing it all my life and the benefits that it gives you is unbelievable. You know, mentally, physically, everything, socially, even just as a challenge when we do a little, we learn something new and we achieve something new. It makes us feel good. So it's a lot about making us feel good, feeling happy. So I want you guys to, you know, dance like nobody's watching. In fact, one thing I should remind you is that uh, don't worry about the camera, but if you want to keep it off, keep it off. But if I can see you, it's amazing for me to see you as well. It's so nice to see you guys dancing. It really gives me a massive boost. But also, if you make sure that you've got me set as, as the big image on your screen. So I don't know if you guys said that already, but on your laptop on the top right hand corner, you've got the view options and just select speaker view. Because I'm the only one that's not uh, muted, everybody should be muted, but please at any point, don't feel you have to be super brave to talk. I'm, I'm loving the fact that so many of you guys are talking already. All you have to do is unmute to ask me a question and I would love it. And only then people will see you because you'll become the speaker and people will see you. Otherwise, if you've got speaker view, you'll only see me because I'm the one with the, with the sound. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense, people. Yes, that's great. If you start getting glitches and stuff, uh, just maybe go like this <laughs> or maybe type it in the chat i'm not reading the chat myself but uh, ellie and michael can be transferring some of the information from the chat back to me yes yeah, so you're locationally here ellie and michael from carers uk giving me the questions that you guys ask in the chat but don't think you have to be super brave to just say something in the chat yourselves i will love it you know when i teach for like an hour i listen to my own voice for an hour it's not very good <laughs> I get sick of my own voice. So the more you guys talk, the more I will love it. Okay. And what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with some salsa. And in fact, I'm going to start with some bachata. We're going to do bachata and salsa. A little bit of both. It's only really an introduction class, but you will learn. The most important thing is we will have fun. We'll do exercise and you will learn having fun. Yeah. And that's the important thing. Does that make sense? Everybody, yes, thumbs up. I love the fact I have to scroll like three screens to be able to see everybody in, in this chat right now. That's I've never had, by the way, this is the biggest online class I've ever done. I only started in November online and I'm doing online classes all the time, but this is now officially my record. And I love the fact so many of you guys are here. Make sure you got space. I can see some of you really well. Caroline and Bob got like a big space, amazing. But if you haven't got a big space, just make sure you, like, uh, like uh, Michael was saying that, that you're not going to hit something, okay? So uh, regardless of what floor you got, you should be able to see me fully, yes? And I can more or less see you guys in a little screen over here as well, okay? I'm going to test the music and hopefully the music will sound really nice quality. Let's see. Give me a thumbs up if it sounds good. Yeah. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. So this is salsa. This is salsa. Okay, but I'm going to start you guys off with a little bachata, all right? And I'm going to use this one here. In fact, I've got a nice traditional sounding bachata. Listen to this music. This is what bachata sounds like from Dominican Republic. How beautiful is that? Yes, this is bachata music from Dominican Republic. And we're going to dance bachata by doing side, 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 ta. Side, 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 tap. So all I need you guys to do right now is face, face the screen and I'm mirroring you guys. I am mirroring you guys. The purpose is for you guys to start with your left leg to the left. One, two, three, and your right leg to the right. Six, seven, tap. One, two, three. That's it. Five, six, seven. Excellent. Now look at the posture. Look at, look at how bent my knees are. Yes. Make sure you have very soft knees, yeah, bent legs, your body, your upper body is more upright, okay, your arms, your arms are around, around your body, around your ribs, like almost like in the jogging position, like this, in the jogging position, nice and relaxed, you don't have to worry about what the arms are doing, your arms will move naturally, because as we do the weight transfer, the weight transfer, like when you're walking, like when you're running, your arms move just by you guys relaxing them around your ribs, like when you're jogging. That's all you need, yes? So importantly, three steps. 
step, 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 and then hold, step, 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 hold, step. That's the rhythm. So we're gonna be doing this rhythm in bachata all the time. Step, step, step. But sometimes I'm gonna change this to an upward movement, for example, like this. Five, six, seven, up. Now I'm doing it this way, so you can copy me exactly as I'm doing it with my left leg and with my right leg. Yeah, so we're going left, right, left, up, right, left, right, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. It's good. Excellent. And then sometimes I change the pause. So when we do the three steps, we have a pause on the four and we have a pause on the eight. Yeah, pause, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, that's the pause. Sometimes we're gonna pause like this. One, two, three, back step. Five, six, seven, back step. So it's not really much of a pause. Yeah, we're filling it up with a double step, like this. Five, six, seven, back step. One, two, three, back step. Five, six, seven, back step, yes? And then we can go back to the tap. Tap. The tap can be really dry and not a lot of motion. Yes. Or we can do a little hip push. One, two, three, hip push. Five, six, seven, hip push. When you do the hip push, focus on sitting here before you push and sit here before you push on your hip. One, two, three, hip push. Five, six, seven, hip push. Now, depending on how comfortable you are, Yes, how much you want to move your hip, how comfortable you are. It's, I always say, if you guys keep your body low, keep your body low, it's more free to move. Yeah! So you like the music? If you never heard that music before, that's called bachata. That's called, later I'll play some salsa so you can hear the difference. I like the fact Michael was dancing. Michael, high five, I like that. All right, listen, listen guys. So what we're doing, and by the way, if we've got any questions, Ellie, you interrupt me at any point. If anybody's writing anything I need to know, then let me know. But remember guys, do not be shy. I'm super excited that so many of you guys are in here and the more of you guys that t talk to me personally, I would love it. We do like a, a sprint, yeah? You notice what happens. Yes, I'm almost like Batman and Robin in one of those uh, old posters. Yes, you notice what happens. Your body mechanics automatically moves your arms. You don't intend for that to happen. That's just how it works. When we do the steps, the weight transfer, transfer your weight. Yes, now I'm going to place, I'm going to do some merengue. Merengue also comes from Dominican Republic. Yes, can you hear this? This is a very, it's a very kind of 90s merengue. Actually, it's not. It's Daddy Yankee. It's a very, it's a very modern merengue. Yes, it's almost like merengue house, like house music. But what we're doing, I want everybody to just get used to the body movement, the Latin motion. And I'm not just saying that because my company is called Latin Motion. This is what they call. This is what we call this movement. This movement here. Yeah. Now, what I want you guys to do. First of all, in half time, we're going to go left, right, left, right. So walk towards the screen. Walk towards me by doing left and right. Then walk back, left, right. Half time with the music, half time. Left, right. And what I'm doing with my knees soft, forward, my knees are soft. And as I walk, it's like I'm doing a very slow jog. Like I'm running, yeah? Going like this, okay? Don't worry about what the hands are doing. Yeah, more people coming in. <laughs> Ellie's, Ellie's gonna be ready to mute everybody. <laughs> New people coming in. Okay, listen. So when we go full time, we basically do left, right, left, right, left, right. Yes, let's go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. That's it. Yes. And then we go back. We go back and left, right, left, right, left, right. This is merengue okay and again again go forward and one like imagine you're a carnival you're a carnival and you're walking behind the float down the street it's summertime the sun is shining yes maybe even in the caribbean or in latin america or maybe not in hill carnival in london yes this is merengue it's just like that similar to soca okay if you can get the movement, the Latin motion, 
like this in merengue we're gonna apply to bachata and how do we apply to bachata in bachata we go one two three ta. five six seven ta. one two three ta. so in bachata we do it this way yeah one two three ta. five six and then we're gonna turn 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 ta. turn turn and then we're not gonna turn <laughs> I just dropped that at you guys. We go by chatter style. Tap, five, six, seven, tap. One, two, three, tap. And then we're gonna turn. We're gonna go roll, 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 and then roll, roll, roll. And be careful, make sure you don't hit anybody or hit anything. Yes, we go. Side, side. Notice again my knees, very low. Very, very low. Yes. One more time, we're gonna turn. We go turn, turn, turn. We're gonna turn back. Yes. And one, two, I tell you what, we're gonna turn one turn, one, two, three, and then we're gonna go five and seven. Maybe not, maybe not, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Does that make sense, everybody? Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. Let me quickly look at all the screens. It's great, I've ne never had to scroll screens before to see everyone. Everything okay? Does it make sense? Can you hear the music well? You can hear me well? Fantastic. All right, listen. When we dance merengue, that is the Latin motion movement in the most basic form. Because the rhythm is just like one, two, one, two, left, right, left, right, left, forever. Okay? When we dance bachata, which is the other song that I played for you guys earlier, um, it's more... And not all bachata sounds exactly like this, but just to give you an example, now we're doing... One, two, three, tap. But the body movement is like merengue. This is merengue. The body movement is like merengue, the Latin motion. Yes? The difference being that we go left, right, left, tap. Right, left, right, tap. Yes. Okay, so I've explained that. It's good, it's good. Now we're going to do the turn without, without rushing it. Yeah? When we do the turn, I've done left, right, left, tap, and right, left, right, tap now notice what i'm doing here when i tap this on the eight because i pause on the four and i pause on the eight i'm slightly tilting my body diagonally to the right to like the right corner of your of your room yes and then what i'm going to do i'm using this as a counter movement before i turn like that and when i finish that turn i'm going to tap the four and I'm going to, again, do a counter movement. I'm slightly angled to diagonally to the left this time. And then when I do turn, again, I point, I point the right foot to the right. And then I roll over it. And then I roll under the other leg. And then at the end here, I tap on the eight again. And then I can do basic two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then here I'm going to tap this way. And I'm going to turn back. Five, six, seven, tap. Keep your knees nice and soft, everybody. When you have your knees nice and soft, your body is so much more free to move. Yes, all the move is like you release your body. Otherwise, you're very constrained by being up here. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you enough how much that helps. A little thing like that, yeah? And we underestimate. I go snowboarding sometimes, and I'm not a great snowboarder, but, you know, I'm learning. I'm all right. I'm all right. When... The teacher tells me it's no boarding, you know, you have to go down and up, and I think I'm doing it, and then I watch a video of myself doing it, and I'm like, okay, I realize, like, I'm not, not doing it like he's doing it. So don't underestimate how much we're going down, yes? And also, that's going to be great. You might feel it later and tomorrow, but you need exercise. We need that. We need that. So it's great stuff. Okay. Now, we did the bachata turns. Let's do at least a couple of other bachata steps so you've got more than one thing. I'm going to do what we call the bachata square. And it, so when we go side, 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 it's very two-dimensional. Even though we sometimes, you know, tilt and we turn and so on. Yes. But I'm going to do something where I'm going to draw a square on the ground. So I'm going to do left close forward and then on the four i'm gonna tap when i tap notice that i generally put my ankles together on the tap yes and then i'm gonna go right close right back and then again i'm gonna tap on the eight okay so it's always three steps proper steps transfer your weight and then a pause where we don't transfer the weight and then three more steps 
proper steps again where you transfer your weight, and then the pause on the eight where we don't transfer the weight. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Pauline. I can see the thumb. I can see everybody's thumbs up. It's great. So what we're going to do, we're going to do left, close, forward, and pause. Right, close, back, and pause. Yeah? Left, close, forward, and pause. Right, close, back, and pause. Yes? And you'll notice I'm still using the same kind of body movement. If I try and do this like a mirror image for you guys, so imagine that I, I'm going to become your mirror. I'm going to become your mirror. So, if you, so when you step forward, I'm going to step forward. Yes? You can copy me like, like as if I'm your mirror. We're doing this. We're doing left, right, left, close, and right, left, back, close, side, close, forward, close. Don't forget the close on the tap doesn't have a step, it has a tap. Really important in dance, when I say a step, I always mean that you transfer your weight. And a step doesn't always have to have a lifting of the foot, like a march, okay? A step could be one, two, that's two steps. One, two, because I've transferred my weight from one leg to the other. And then a tap, for example, no transfer, I'm just literally touching the ground with my toe. Yeah, and generally in, bach in bachata, generally I'm putting my ankles together. Okay, so we have to have three proper steps like this, and then a hold, and then three proper steps like that, and then a hold. So that's bachata square. So we got bachata square, we got the basic bachata sideways, and we got the bachata turns. Yeah, makes sense? I'm just going to do a couple of other things, which is not very difficult. I'm going to travel forward with the left leg, and then I'm going to do my four, I'm going to tap behind, I'm going to travel back with the right leg, and then with my eight, I'm going to tap across in front. So it ends up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. So when I say forward basic, yes, I'm going to talk about this one. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. See or no? See or no? Yes, it's good. More people are joining all the time. This is amazing. You might hear them when they join because they won't be muted. So Ellie is quickly muting everybody. <laughs> all right, people. So I want to play another bachata because I want to also give you some salsa. And the idea is that we'll do the basic, we'll do the turns, we'll do the square, and we'll travel forward and back. Nothing too crazy yet. Yeah, it's kind of all... Keeping the rhythm is the important thing right now. Keeping the rhythm. Once the rhythm becomes second nature, you can do lots more things. Yeah, getting the rhythm second nature is like getting the muscle memory to work. And I'm afraid there's only one way to get the muscle memory to work, and that's repetitions, like loads of repetitions. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're gonna go. One, three, five, basic, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice my posture, guys. Notice my soft knees. Yeah? We go. Basic. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to turn. We're going to go. One, two, three. And now I'm even using my hands. So before I got you guys to angle the prep, I'm going to do it with the hands doing that at the same time. If you want to practice that without turning, do this now, here. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready? We're going to turn. And turn, turn, turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Basic. And five. Travel forwards. And one, two, three. Tap. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Travel side. One, two, three. Five, six is so nice and slow this one. It's very, this, this is a slow bachata. So don't get too comfortable, people, yeah? This is a slow bachata. Five, six, seven. Don't forget the arms, don't forget the knees. If you're low, your body is free. Your body is released, relaxed, yeah? One, two, we're gonna do the bachata square. Are you ready? We do left, step, forward, ankles together, and then here, ankles together. Left, step, forward, close, right, 
and back. Clock is one, two, three, then four, five, six, seven, then eight. We always hold on the four and we hold on the eight. Basic side, side, side. Going for the turn, turn to the left. And one, two, three, turn to the right. Five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three. Yes, five, six, seven. See or not? It's good. Oh. Amazing, amazing. Any questions? Anybody got any questions? Come on. I'd love to hear one voice. Anybody? Somebody, somebody save me from my own voice. Yeah, someone's got their hand. You don't have to put your hand up on mute. No, <laughs> <Can't> great. <laughs> great session, Marshall. Super. Oh, Super. thank you, Norman. Great. Great. Yeah, yeah. We're thank you. I'm missing Salsa. I'm missing my Salsa. Oh, thank you, Bethan. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Kalpana. I look to the day when we can have it all together, though. No, don't worry. We'll that'll be back. But don't stop. Don't stop because we can't be. T we can still be together, even if we're not yeah. together. Exactly. Yeah. Alone, but not lonely. Remember yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Kalpana has a question. You got your hand up like, like I'm a school teacher. You're making me feel like a school teacher, Kalpana. <laughs> I feel it is a little fast for me. Yeah, okay, okay. That's okay. That's, fair, that's a fair enough thing because sometimes at the beginning we'll feel fast. So take your own time. And one thing I say to everybody, like obviously take your own pace. Don't push yourself to the point where it's uncomfortable. Yes, but sometimes, I'll give you a couple of tips. If, if it is fast, yes, smaller steps help. So rather than going big step, big step, big step, and close, and big step, big step, big step, and close, if it is fast, try tiny, 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 close, tiny, 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 close, and stay low. Yes, the complete opposite of being upright, and doing big, it's really difficult, it's really hard work, yes? Go low, go tiny, 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 tap and tight, like that. Yes, but also remember, it's new, and there's nothing that's gonna fix it apart from repetition as well. So sometimes it's the brain having to remember stuff, yes? And we all get this in all the classes, I still get this now, if I'm learning something new, it's like re sometimes it's remembering as well what, what I'm doing, yes? And that is just practice. So it's a mixture of using better technique and practice, <laughs> and practice. But Kalpana, do not stop, you just take, your, okay, take it at your own pace, Kalpana. Somebody else is going to ask the question. I think it's Bar Barati. Uh, I think it's... No, I didn't ask any questions, but I think it's great. You know, oh. I, I want to... I have to keep it up with you. <laughs> A bit faster, dear. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank it's you. And it's, thank you, Barata. Thank you, guys. Okay. I'm going to... Unless uh, Ellie's got anything else for me, I'm going to... Nothing from me, Mauricio. Everybody <laughs> wants to see the moves. Yeah. Okay. All right. So listen, because I also want to do some salsa too, as well. Um, but I want to try and I want to try and do one more bachata step. Yeah, one more bachata step. And this is because there's so many things we can do. And remember, even I'm still learning. And the learning is the point, not the not not the end. Yeah, not the not the you know not getting to an end. The learning is the, the, the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh show you one more thing. And that is slow. And then, and I know this looks big, by the way. So I just told Barata not to go too big. But we can do this smaller. Sometimes I should tell you, I should warn everybody. Sometimes even us teachers will demonstrate things big just so that you can really see them. Yes? Bear that in mind whenever you do any classes. Yes? Because hopefully once you, once We've demonstrated it. You can see like in, in normal dancing, you're not always doing things big or you only do things big occasionally to, to exaggerate something, yeah, to accent something. But in this case, I will want to accent the first step. And I'm doing this kind of like, it's like an upward movement here on the one. And then I'm going to take a longer time to step the two and the three. So because I'm delaying it, I'm now going to go and three. 
So I'm, do, I'm doing like a quicker step. So I go slow, quick, quick. And then I'm going to tap, like always, on the four, holding the pause. And then I'm going to do the same this way. I'm going to go five. I'm going to wait longer. I'm not going to step on the six. I'm going to go and seven. And then the eight. The eight is where we pause again. Okay, so it's like one and three, four, five and seven, eight. Stay low and three. Your body is so much more comfortable at this height. I know it might be, I know it depends also on your fitness levels, guys. I know it's also going to be like a good exercise for your legs and for your knees. And everybody's got different level of fitness on the knees. So just do your own comfort thing. But if you can, stay low. Stay low. It does make everything easier. We're going to do one and three, four, five, and seven, eight, one, and three, four, five, and seven. And for those of you guys ready to really, you know, do a bit extra, a bit more, we're going to drop the shoulder when we get to the four. We're going to go one and three, four. And I'm dropping the shoulder here as I tap with my right leg. You can see that I'm tapping with my right leg as my ankles come together and I pause on the four. But I'm going to drop the shoulder, the left shoulder, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the shoulder up and slightly back as I step the five. And then once I do the quicker steps, my body goes back to being neutral. That means... I've gone, I've gone here. I'm mirroring you guys. I'm mirroring you guys. So your, your, your left shoulder, your left shoulder is dropping as you tap with your right leg here. Yes. And then what you do is you go like this. Yes. Four and then five. Yes. Four and then five. Again, treat it as your own comfort zone. Yeah. Whatever you however much you want to do, you can do subtle. You can do subtle, it looks lovely as well. Here, a little subtle, like that, yeah? Very subtle, that's nice. Or you can go crazy, you can go, wah! <laughs> so, it really is down to you guys, because I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, or subtle, one, two, three, Four, five, and seven, eight. See or no? Thumbs up if it's okay. Yeah? If it makes sense. Remember, it has to make sense first. And then you have to convince your body to listen to what your brain is telling you to do. That takes time. Yeah? Makes sense? <laughs> it's good? Okay, so I'm sometimes going to do it. In fact, it'll be better if we do a basic, a basic like one, two, three, like this. And then do the bass timing. Five and seven, eight on the way back. Yes, you can do any way you want it, but I think that might feel easier. So we do basic, basic, basic. Four, five, and seven, eight. Basic, basic, basic. Four and five, and seven, eight. Yeah, so it's adding a little flavor, adding a little variation to your bachata basic by changing the rhythm ever so slightly. Make sense? I think my bachata time is nearly up. I gotta give some, some salsa. So let's put one final bachata. And I'm gonna be a little bit cheesy here because I know you guys will know. You guys will know this. Let me see. Let me see. Where is it? Here we go. Grupo Extra. Bachata version of Despacito. <laughs> Did you know that short, short of the, uh, the shark song? What's the shark song called? The baby shark. <laughs> short of the baby shark. This is the biggest YouTube video views ever, ever in history. Like 7 billion. 7 billion. Anyway, I might as well use it for bachata. Here we go. Ready? Five, six, basic. In fact, sorry. I'm gonna slow it down. This is, this is playing kind of fast, and uh, already I already had a uh, Kalpana telling me it was fast. So we're gonna slow it down a little bit. Okay. So here we go. There we go. A little bit more relaxed. Don't forget to drop. Kalpana, don't forget to do little steps. Yes. And don't worry. Don't don't go out of your comfort zone either. Here we go. And one, two, 
six, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn here, and then I'm gonna turn back, and then basic. One. Notice that I drop on the end. I sometimes do this. Drop. It's a nice way to book end, book end the frame here. As I tap with my left leg on the eight, I tap with my left leg and I just drop slightly. Ready? Turn again. Turn to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basic two, three. That's good. Yes? Makes sense? It's good. I want to check that you can hear me properly. Yeah, you can. You can. That's good. Okay, ready? So now. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, and then five, and seven, eight, one, two, three, and then five, and seven, eight, one, two, three, and then five, and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and seven, basic, one, two, three, and five, turn to the left, press, one, two, three, turn to the right, and basic, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, that's it, one, two, three, one more time, turn to the left, prep, and then go, and prep, and then go, and then basic, I'm mirroring all of you, so you can treat me like a mirror, all right, we're gonna travel to the left, we go, one, two, three, and then we're gonna go five, and seven, again, one, two, three, and we go, five, and seven, and then we're gonna drop the shoulder here on four, five, and seven, again, one, two, three, four, five, and seven, eso, last time, five, and basic, one, two, three, four, five, small steps, especially if you feel fast, small steps, exactly the same, knees bent, that's in motion movement with your arms, but don't force it, let it happen naturally. We're gonna turn, and then we're gonna do this. So we're gonna turn like this, and then we're gonna drop five and seven. We're gonna turn this way, then we're gonna drop five and seven, okay? I'm really going for the harder one. Again, remember, everybody, remember, no matter what I teach, you just take whatever you, you can take, and whatever you can't take, you'll digest in your brain, even while you're sleeping, and the next time you do it, it'll be easier. So right now, I'm gonna try a little challenge. We're gonna prep here, we're gonna turn, we're gonna drop, and we're gonna go back with the bass time. And then we go back to the basic. Okay, so ready? Get ready now. We're gonna go one, two, three, prep, turn, shoulder, and basic. Yes? And one, two, three, and five, six. Just change my time to match the music. Last time, last time, last time. Get ready? One, two, three, and five. Prep your body. Turn, 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 prep your shoulders and basic. We're gonna go, we're gonna go forward. We go forward, tap back, and tap forward, and tap. And now we're gonna go like a bachata square here and hold. Five, six, seven, hold. One, two, three. Yeah. I'm super excited with that, guys. Hey, so cool. Tell me, are you okay? Give me a thumbs up. I'm going to quickly look at all the screens. If it's Why good, keep... Why are you keep... out of breath? Oh, go on, Kim. Go on, Kim. Say it again. Why are you out of breath? Listen, if you guys are not out of breath, you're cheating. No, I've been horse riding before this. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not, I, I can't beat that one. <laughs> no, but seriously... I, I hope, I hope, I, 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 put all, I put all into it. I do, I do, I do. I put all into it. And I, I, do, I do sweat. I do sweat when I'm teaching. And I'm kind of hoping that you guys sweat a little bit, get a little bit out of breath. It's the best exercise in the world. You can quote me. You can quote me. Dancing, you don't even notice it. And you're doing exercise. So it's amazing. If you guys get a little bit out of breath, it'll be amazing. And if, uh, if you go lower as well, it's even, even more. Yeah? Does that make sense? Anybody else speaking to me? No? No? 
Mauricio, this is Ellie. Nothing from the, from the chat box at the moment, but many participants are interested in the recording. And I just wanted to let everyone know that our colleague, Tony, who is also joining this call, is working on that as we speak. So hopefully this um, could become available in the next months. That would be amazing because, guys, practice is the only way, especially for those of you who are brand new for it. Um, like I say, it's only through repetition that it becomes normal, and it's only when it's normal when you can think about other ways of being creative without thinking about just holding the rhythm. Does that make sense? So really good to practice. If, you can, if it becomes available, it would be amazing. You can practice the basics, or hopefully we do another one and I can develop it or even just recap what we've been doing because there's so much we can do. There's so much we can do, and we, I mean, some of you guys have partners with you in your houses, so we could even do partner work, but you don't even need to do partner work. A lot of you guys are on your own, like me right now, and you can do a lot of dancing without doing partner work. And everything you learn now is very, very, very transferable. It's, it's basically the base of what you can do when you dance with, with partners, when you dance salsa or bachata or merengue with partners, because then you know, basically, you know how to dance already. All you have to learn then is how to lead and follow. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm loving it. Okay, listen, people, because I know that, uh, oh, Heather is trying to get in, Ellie. Listen, because I know that we're gonna um, run out of time very soon, I wanna show you a little bit of, a little bit of salsa. I wanna get you guys dancing. A little bit of salsa. So, you've been listening to merengue, you've been listening to uh, bachata, and now you're listening to salsa. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five. Yes or no? Can you hear it? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, the tempo is faster. I am afraid, Kalpana. I don't know where she's gone. She's here somewhere. Uh, the tempo is faster because in bachata, this is the tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In salsa, it's more like one, two, three, and a five, six, seven, and a one, two. I'm going to slow it down, but the music in itself is a little more faster tempo. And what we do most of the time, I mean, I'm going to do the one that's traveling simply because it's so similar to what we've been doing in bachata. It's got a slightly different vibe. Notice that I've got a bit of a bounce. It's got a slightly different vibe different energy when it's in salsa okay um, but what it has the same it has the same body movement like we did in merengue which is the Latin motion and that hasn't changed it has the same so you need to make sure that you, that is something you can practice forever and get better and better and better at it because even when you're doing salsa sometimes we do things you know like we do we do styling you know here and here and this kind of stuff it can, it can literally evolve from from this movement or we go into a turn here you know we do things like this yeah so we do or we do this and all this comes from this movement but initially just worry about keeping this movement going without making it happen it happens because of your own mechanics your own body mechanics when you transfer your weight so that's why i keep on saying to you guys focus about transferring your weight in salsa we're gonna do one two three tap and i'm gonna get you guys to clap one two three five six seven one two three and five six seven and side 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 and side 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 and one two three and then i'm gonna do it on the spot one two three I'm not going to tap the four and five, six, seven, and I'm not going to tap the eight. So it's going to feel much more like quick, quick, slow and quick, quick, slow and quick, quick, slow. Yeah, quick, quick, slow. And it's left, right, left and right, left, right. And again, I could do the same exercise of walking towards you. For some reason, when you walk, it seems more natural. So it's worth a try if you're struggling to do this on the spot. Yes which is basically trans I'm transferring my weight between one leg and the other, just as I would if I was walking, but I'm not even walking, I'm not even marching, I'm not even lifting my heels off the ground, really. But equally, I don't want you guys to stand on your heels. When you stand on your heels, if, you sta if everybody stand up straight, face this way, everybody stand up straight, face this way, and just feel, stand up completely straight, yeah? Feel where is your body weight. Your body weight is on your heels right now. Now, everybody just drop slightly. Just drop slightly, even more. 
the more you drop, where is your weight now? It's practically on the balls of your feet. Yeah? This is where it should be, always. Yeah, when you're dancing, your weight should be on the balls of your feet. And it's because of the way that we're standing. Yeah? Can you feel it? Give me a thumbs up if you can feel it. Yeah? It's, it travels from your heels to the balls of your feet. And when you're, when you're transferring your weight here, I'm not even lifting my heels, but I can feel my weight going from, I'm mirroring you guys. So in this case, I'm calling this my left leg. Left, right, left and right, left, right, yeah, your left leg, left, right, left, and right, left, right, and when we walk, it does seem more natural for people, because it's an actual step, left, right, left, and right, left, right, and again, this looks so similar to what we did in merengue, and what we did in bachata, yes, and it's, that is one thing that's a thread that runs through all this, this Latin motion. The Latin motion is the movement, this movement. And it's a counter movement because you see, you see like um, a, an exercise you could do if you really wanted to, but I always worry about telling you how to move your arms because I always think the first thing is to worry about the weight transfer. But if you wanted to try and practice and think about the arms, a good exercise to do is something like this, where you touch where you touch with your hand, the leg, the top of the leg that you're walking with, and the other hand touches the shoulder, which the shoulder does equally kind of slightly come forward as I walk here. That's a good exercise, yeah? And then you've got the right motion, the Latin motion, to the steps. It's a good exercise to try, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's sometimes like asking people to do this. Yes, it's... Uh, Sometimes it's not worth thinking it. Okay, let's go. So what we're going to do, we're going to do um, the, the traveling step like this. And I'm going to do the clap. So we're going to do clap on the four and clap on the eight. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to do it completely on the spot. So I'm going to do quick, quick, slow and quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow and travel again. This time I'm going to push and push and I'm going to go clap, clap clap and push and push and a clap clap one more time and push and push and a clap clap and then I'm gonna go quick quick slow and quick quick slow and one two three hold the four five six seven hold the eight does that make sense give me a thumbs up yeah this is salsa this is salsa okay now most of our salsa steps we use um, a sequence which is more like an opening and closing of the step and which direction we open is really irrelevant but the one that's most commonly used is the mambo the mambo step and we open forwards with the left leg and we open backwards with the right leg yeah so we do left step step and right step step now you must keep the weight transfer just like we did before you step on the left leg even though we don't move the right foot, we step on the right leg. And then we close and we step on the left leg. Because we now step on the left leg, we did three steps. We make a slow one, we hold the four, and then our right leg is free to go five, six, seven. So it's left together, right together. What you shouldn't forget is that I'm going to face sideways so you can see me better. What you shouldn't forget is that the second beat is in the center position, in the middle. So you could say open, yes, center or middle, and then close, yeah? Open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. Do not forget in salsa when you do these this kind of steps, do not forget to step three times. The second beat is where you started, yes? here so it's open middle close three all right and then when we do the other three on five six seven we do open with the right leg middle with the left leg open middle and we close yes does it make sense does it make sense i want to put some music on real soon it will probably be my last song because i'm running out of time but um let's try it we're gonna do one, two, three, we hold the four, five, six, seven, we hold the eight. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Just like that. Yeah? So when we do this, 
make sure you do the rhythm. The rhythm is what's important. The rhythm is when you step and when you don't step. Where is the gap? The gap is on four and the gap is on eight, just like in bachata, but we don't tap it. So we go quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. And one little alteration I'm going to show you is that I don't end up with my feet together when I close them. I slightly overlap them like this. My right leg is always slightly in front. So I go open, middle, close, my left leg slightly behind. And then open, middle, close, my right leg is slightly in front. So the close position looks like this. And then it's because we're traveling forwards and because we're traveling back. Yes? Open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. See or no? Yes, this is, this is the Mambo Basic. I gotta run, I gotta run. This is the Mambo Basic. Open, middle, close, open, middle, close. One, two, three, and five. And finally, I'm gonna do in all directions. So I can do open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. Yeah? Open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. Yeah? Open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. Close. In this particular step, because we're going sideways, we do put our feet together. We don't overlap them. Yeah? Open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. Yes? Keep your body, like I taught you, keep your body like this as you do this step. Here, yeah? Open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. We can go back. Open, middle, close, and open, middle, close. We can twist that first open, open twisted, yeah? So twist, middle, close, twist, middle. Don't forget the middle step. Twist, middle, close, twist, middle. Mambo basic, open, middle, close, back, middle, close. All right. So this is salsa, people. We're going to do it with one song. Do not worry at all if it's like, whoo, coming at you fast. Do not worry at all about getting it completely right. Remember, it's the process, it's the learning, it's the challenge and everything. It, just do, your, do as much as you can. Some of you will be definitely more experienced because I heard some people say, you miss salsa and you miss merengue, you miss bachata. So I can, I can now, so I know some of you guys already dance and some of you have probably never danced. Never mind salsa or bachata, maybe nothing. So, so take your own pace, do as much as you can. Do remember that it's, it's the learning process. Enjoy it. Enjoy it and feel, do it like nobody's watching. Let yourself go. Yes, and in fact, nobody's watching because everyone's too busy watching me. Yes, and I can't even see everybody because I need to scroll like three screens to see everybody, which is amazing. This song is from Colombia. And I've been using this for literally three decades to teach salsa because it's nice and slow, it's nice and mellow. Yes? Hang on, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so... Let's go, people. Everybody, we're gonna travel and one, two, three, clap. We're gonna go like this side, 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 clap, side, side, side. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Now on the spot, left, right, left, right, left, right. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, without the tap. Yes. Now we're gonna walk towards the screen. Near me, near me. Left leg forward. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three. Now walk away from the screen. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left. Now we're gonna travel for this time. We're gonna push and then and push, push and and one, three and and one, three. Last time. Back on the spot, it's left, right, left. Quick, quick, slow. Get ready for the mambo step. Left leg forward. We go one, two, three, five, six, seven. Open and close. I'll do it from the side. Left leg forward. One, two, three. The mambo step. Remember, open, middle, close. Open, middle, close. Keep your body low. Look how bent my knees are. Yes, keep your arms around your ribs. Like you're in a jogging position and relax your arms. Relax your arms here. One, two, three. Mambo basic, yes? One, two, three. And five, six, seven. And one, two, three. Yes, travel. And push, push, and. And push, push. You dancing salsa, people. You dancing salsa. This is good. This is good. Yes. I want to see you. I want to see you. Ready? Keep on going. Keep on going. So. Everybody, I want everybody to keep on dancing. Show everybody what you're doing. 
<laughs> I'm scrolling to all the pages. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so everybody, we're gonna travel together to the side. Are you ready? Here we go. And side, side, five, six, seven. So keep on going. And we're gonna go to the side. We're gonna go push, push, and clap, 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 and push. Push and clap, clap, clap. I'm gonna let this phone go because I can't do it at the same time. I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of my online class. All right, so now we're gonna go mambo. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Travel again. And push, push, clap, 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 and push. Okay, now on the spot, I wanna try, instead of opening forward and back, I wanna try opening with the left leg and the right leg with the back step, yeah? So what it means is still, I'll do it sideways so you can see, you still open and you still step the second beat in the middle. Open, middle, close, open, middle, close, open, middle, close, open, keep your body, look how bent my knees are, open, middle, close, yes? From here, we go mambo, left leg forward, it, open, middle, close, back, middle, close, Open me and remember we don't have to do big steps when I'm teaching I sometimes demonstrate big steps but when we actually do it for real you can do tiny steps yes Kalpana tiny steps it's easier like this yeah one two three five six seven one two three and travel and push push and and push push and and one two three Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. On the spot. Left step, step. Right step, step. Left step. Now we're gonna do a side basic. Open middle, close. Open middle, close. Open middle, close. It's a side basic, yes. Open middle, close. Open middle, close. Open middle, close. Yes. And open middle, close. And.